Guys, 6th of April 2016, damp day, Roxburgh Golf Club. Myself, Daniel Wood Golf in the background having a practice swing. We're on the 11th tee at the Roxburgh and we're going to have a six hole challenge. See if we've got a few birdies on the go. We've not golfed for a while, it's been a while since we've had the cameras out, but today we're back on it. So let's see how we go. on. So here we go, Dan T shirt on the 11th, our first hole. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's good. Just up the right side. New driver, Dan? Yeah, I've got the lengths out today. Excellent. Like it? Yeah, a little bit uh, a little bit untested so far. But we'll give it a bash. Steve's yeah, sticking with the old uh, Nike still though. <laughs> the cool bit back out. <laughs> old faithful. Oh, wow. That's as good as you've got right there. Yeah, oh. sure. lovely. Dan has just lost it a little bit to the right. How many yards you got, Dan? Uh, 300 and something. I don't think we're getting there. 300 and something. Five iron? <laughs> I'm just going to have four iron and five way up. Okay. Stan's New irons in the bag as well, Steve. New irons in the bag. Links yeah. as well? Links as well, yeah. Brilliant. Boom booms? Boom, oh, boom. boom boom. Boom Excellent. Boom tour irons, yeah. Four iron. Oh yeah, very good. Nice and safe. Well done. So good drive. Very good drive. Yeah, perfect drive. You just kicked off the hill there and got a perfect position. We laying know? up, laying up here? I am laying up. I've got 260 and it's uphill, and it's wet, so I'm never gonna reach there. So I'm actually I don't want to leave a wee half shot, so I'm gonna try and leave a full shot. Okay. So I've only got a nine iron in my hand. Laying way back. Laying way back, trying to leave myself a full wedge. Yeah, you're probably going to leave yourself similar, similar one again. Do you know what I don't want to do here is I don't want to take my eyes off this. I, I don't know if I've got a nine iron, but I want to make sure I get in the right flat spot. I've got to be quite controlled with what I do. It's a good strike there. Yeah, right. Is that staying on the flat bit? Yeah. Perfect shot there. Cool. Good. Let's get down there and uh, hit our approaches in. Okay, so we've got Steve way down there. He's got 130 yards coming back in here. I'm up at the green, so just to give you an idea, there he is way down there, so we'll zoom back out. Okay, here he is. He's got a little wedge. Just carried the bunker there, it's on there, so not bad, a little bit of an awkward chip shot, but they're in three. So here's Dan's third shot to the 11th there, first hole. He's got 112 yards and I believe he's got a 50 wedge. Ball above his feet, this could go left. Oh, he's shouting after it, he likes it. Yeah, good. Well done. Both come up with a shot there, to be honest. Um, ball's travelling nowhere today. Really heavy. Very wet. Okay, Steve chipping up the green for birdie here. Coming straight back up, a fairly straightforward shot. Yeah, great shot there. Rolls it up stone dead. Easy par, not a bad way to start there, coming up the hill. Getting pretty wet now as well. Okay, so Dan's got this for the hole. This for a birdie four. Having laid up, popped his wedge in there to about 15, 20 feet. This for his four. Oh, get there. Good effort. Ah, oh, just shot. Short coming up the hill. Easy, easy five, five though. Easy five. Oh, half and five. Oh. Good. All right, here we go. There's Dan. So we're all square. We played one horse. It's 12th tee at Roxburgh, and we've got 400 yards. Dog leg left to right. Um, Dan still has the honour. Half the last hole in fives pars. Dan's blue shaft. Nice. Oh yes. Oof. Right. Well done. Nice shape for the hole. Good. 
Happy with that? Yeah, not bad. Hopefully it's not turned too much. There's a wee bunker on the inside of this hole. Ah, oh, really good. Solid. Hitting that old thing well. <laughs> good drive. Here's Dan's second shot. He's got 154, Dan. Yeah, 154 back into a club wind, I think. Back into the wind, so he's hitting, poking in a 7 iron in here. It's actually playing very long. We're into this sort of drizzle. It's not easy. Oh, that looks good. Just hold on. Looks really good. Yeah, well done. Pin high. Yeah, corner, yeah. Excellent, good shape. Brilliant. Okay, Steve's second shot here. You've got 151. 151, yep. So uh, I'm a little little long, so he's gone down a club to 8 iron here. Let's see. Pretty picturesque second shot in there. Good contact. Little draw on the pin now. Yeah, good solid shot, heart of the green, good shot. Well done, both on and two. Okay, so here's Steve's birdie putt. Coming swinging off uh, right to left there. Yeah, I'll be a bit of in this yeah one. the rain's getting uh, the rain's getting pretty heavy now, so apologise if there's any uh, any blurring on the screen for you. It's positive breaking. Ah, oh, lovely putt in behind the hole. Pick that one up. It's good for me. Yeah, not bad. Good effort there. Easy par. Okay, here's Dan. Dan's got this for a birdie to go one up. He's on the other side of the hole here on the 12th. This should come left to right, although mine never broke much. Uh, a little bit of fertiliser on the green's obviously quite wet as well. Nah, just take yeah, the Yeah, it's fine. Just tailed off. Down. Good. And I've got the pars. Yeah, boring. <laughs> Full half. Full That's half. all square. Right Dan, 13th hole, our third, yep. 180. Yeah, 180, I've got 7 iron. 7 iron, par 3, over the water, down drizzle. Down drizzle. <laughs> it actually feels fair though now. It says, it's calmed down a little bit. Right, come on, let's hit the green. Let's, let's go for it. Good line. Come on, keep turning. Very keep good turning. line. Yep, just right of the pin. Yeah. Maybe half a club short or didn't turn it over enough. Okay, you strike it okay? Yeah. Try good. Looks like it zipped back off the hill. Okay, Steve's got seven iron as well. Yep. Also a new set of uh, hooks in the bag there. A uh, Wil set of Wilson's, is it? Wilson's, Yeah, Please. stunning. Yep. Nice. Okay, same club. So uh, I've got, he's got a wee bit of a marker to beat there. Great line. I'm gonna come up a little bit shy of the flag, I think. Yeah, great shot right down the pin, but half a club shy maybe. Two chances though. Okay, so here's Dan. Put his seven iron in there. It's just run off that little hill to our left. Dan's right, breaking right to left here, Dan. Yeah, quite a lot, of, quite a lot of movement in this one. Quite a bit of break, uphill as well. That's for a birdie. It's just been par golf so far, which has been good. Here we go, right to left. It's good, breaking now, it looks good. Oh, good effort. Oh. <laughs> I think he thought he had it. Thought we had it, thought we had it. Okay, here we got Steve putting up the hill for birdie. Pretty good tee shot there, looked, uh, didn't look didn't look quite as close from the tee. Cracking effort though, maybe 12, 12 feet straight up the hill. Yep. Let's get right in his grill here as well. Hold on, Ooh. and it continues the theme of the game there. Part one, all par so far, game all square still. Fantastic par golf. Nothing to write home about so far though, Steve. So part two will be on Dan's channel, is that right? Both yeah, definitely, Dan? yeah, Daniel Wood Golf. Uh, check out, we'll put the links down below. Uh, remember, subscribe to your main man here, Steve, as well. And thanks again to the Roxburgh for uh, having us today. Hopefully it brightens up for part two though.